Hi guys, Emerson Tam here. Today I'm going to do a really early tutorial. I just was messing around and it worked out really good. Alright, so anyway, um, today we're going to learn how to do this ball. We're going to make a ball right and we're going to put some indirect lighting onto it and we're going to spread all these balls out and make it really good. I think there's one already made, so we're going to try and remake it. Okay, so let's start by 7, 5. This is the blender beater, by the way. Alright, so shift A mesh and plane scale up to 5 then scale up to 5 again then scale up to 5 again scale it down put that into the corner of the camera right there okay press 2 so you want a new layer press shift A mesh and UV sphere 1 scale it up press smooth Moldy, uh, modifier and then subsurf only two times is necessary so press tab A Z and press B and select one row press E and just click and S and bring that in so it looks like that actually get rid of the um, subsurf looks better Alright, now press tab again and press with that thing it should be still selected. If not, select it again. Press P, select. So that's on its own now. Alright, now um, go to the shaders tab, press um, with your separate mesh or geometry, select a new model for, um, material, call it Glow 1, press plus and call it Glow 2, plus. Glow 3 plus then Glow 4. So you should have 5 glows. Alright, so go to the first one and wait, before, before we do that, select your geometry, press M and 1, so it's with the plane. Alright, and bring that in to view for the of the camera. There we are. Delete the light. Alright, delete the light. Please. For it to work. Alright, so, um. So if you, um. Now, um. Go into wireframe mode and duplicate this, the ball, and the. The ball shell and the inner shell. Um, duplicate it four times. One, shift D, shift D, and shift D. And. For the first, um, select the first one and put it into camera to the camera view by pressing G and moving around. If you didn't know, you should. All right. Um, uh, put the others, the other balls, to a different one by selecting all of them. Press M and two, just because we don't need them right now. All right. So with the um, separate mesh, go to your materials and let's put a uh, bluish greenish. Click, click uh, cubic into polishing. Sorry, I don't know how to say that still. Um, and put emit to two. Select the ball, and this should be named black. Name, put this to you all the way to black. Um, then check mirror reflectivity to about not too much. Transparency, put that to ray trace and put that a little bit up, not too much, just a bit. Put the alphabet down. Okay, you don't really need to do the transparency, but I want to. Okay, so now, well, you know what we should have done instead? With well, that selected. Oh, never mind. Alright, now go to Glow 2. Pick a color. I'm going to choose red now. Uh, cubic into polishing. Emit to two. Glow three can be a green, like blue, purple. Emit to two. Cubic into polishing. Glow four. Let's put that to a yellow. To polishing. Emit all the way to two. And we should be done. Alright, so now click your plane, press new, 
and put it to black. Um, by the way, um, with a plane, don't put it all the way to black, put it all the way to white to make it shine. Okay, so now all of our balls should emit a glow. Um, line them all up. Wait, you have to assign each one the different glow now. So this one... Glow 4. This can go be glow 3. Glow 2. F. Now... Oh, yep. Select this to black. Select all your outer shells to black. All your outer shells to black. Okay, now Okay, now gather all your balls and with the foot now this is what you're gonna do. Each one's gonna have a different rotation, so the first one is gonna be like this, next one's gonna be like that. Put that one more on a slant. That one like there. And rotate this one like that. Now for the first one, I'm gonna press gonna put a whole bunch of these so, so put that where the move that a bit up. Move this here, right, shift D. Uh huh. And just keep on shifting this. Now, they're all scattered, press, move this up a bit, move this down, and press F12, you can see the back looks a bit cut out. Select all your geometry and balls, scale it down, just scale it down like a really, like a lot, so you can actually see what's happening here. So you can see all your balls and everything in geometry. Oh my god, that looks awesome. Stop gloating, Michael. Stop gloating, Radiant. Alright, now that looks good. Yeah, put that on 4chan and everything, it'll be awesome.